welcome back to our class don't forget to subscribe if it is your first time to visit our channel what is speciation speciation is the formation of new species so what is a species we saw it time before that we saw it that a species is a group of organisms which can interbreed to produce a fertile offspring like which process leads to the formation of uh, this new species. So let's look at the process which results in the formation of, um, of new species. So here you have um, a population, this population is yes, population one, population two, these two populations, they can interpret, they have the same kind of uh, species, but now the geographical barrier has come in. So we are saying that a population of or a particular species may uh, be split into two by a geographical barrier. So this was, for example, it was one population. Actually, it was one population. Uh, there is gene flow. The gene flow means that they can interpret, they can have sex, uh, they can meet, yes. For example, population of humans in South Africa and the population of uh, humans in America, they, they, yes, they, they, though the distance is great, but you have planes which can go there, you have um, sheep which can go there, still we can interbreed to produce what? Though we different populations, but still we have the same species, why gene flow is still there. So the population can be separated. We are saying that and is split into two by geographical barrier. Geographical barrier could be a river, mountain, it could be even a box depending on which kind of species are you talking about. Could, it, it must be a, a barrier which is separating them. If it is the, in the environment, then it could be environmental barrier. If it is in, in a lab, like bacteria, it, it, it can be just a small box. Yes, yeah, so it depends on the how big is the, 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 the species. So now we are saying that, uh, as a result, two parts of population cannot interbreed. So now a geographical barrier has been introduced here. Yes, and then now these two, they cannot uh, interbreed. There is no gene flow. There's no gene flow. This one cannot have sex with this. Why? Because of the geographical barrier. Therefore, there is no gene flow between the two. It means that uh, these ones cannot cross this side and these ones cannot cross this side. Yes. And then you're saying that natural selection occurs independently. So because of the different environmental condition this side and different environmental condition this side, then natural selection uh, will occur differently because of the different the difference in the uh, uh, conditions of the environment. So you're saying that uh, this is due to different environmental conditions. Yes, it means that natural selection will occur differently because of the different environmental conditions. The different environmental conditions will result in natural selection occurring uh, independently. And then they're saying that as a result of two population become, uh, as a result, the two population become uh, genotypically and phenotypically different over a period of time. So as many generation pass due to this uh, geographical barrier, they cannot interpret, they start to, um, to, to, to change. And then these ones will be wiped out because they're not being favored by the environment. The red one will survive. Also, these ones uh, will be wiped out. The blue one will survive. And after so many generations, you'll find out that they will become genetically and phenotypically. Genetically in terms of gene and phenotypically, the way you see them, different colors now, yet they were the same color, they become different over many generations. Because of the genes have changed, then automatically even the phenotype must what? Must change. And then uh, if you remove the barrier, we are saying that even if you, the, 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 even if the population mix at a later time, yes, if you remove the barrier and leave this uh, population to mix, yes, what will happen? They will not be able to interbreed again uh, to produce a fertile offspring. They won't be able to interbreed to produce fertile offspring. Some of them they can interpret, but they may not produce a fertile offspring. We will see this one as we come in. So what does it mean? It means that uh, one or both of the population have become new species. In this case, the two population have become new species. Why? If you look at it, the original kind of species is different from uh, what is being formed. So that's how you can explain speciation. But when you are bringing in the exam, we might not bring something like this. We can bring it like this, or we can bring something different. We have given an example. We give you an example whereby you're supposed to apply uh, what you learned. Yes, 
So if the example is talking about um, elephants, you must explain based on elephants. If you're talking about maybe bacteria, you must explain based on bacteria, beds, any kind of um, organism they are brought, as long as you talk about uh, geographical barrier, you have to tell us which geographical barrier is there. Two, um, they cannot interbreed, yes. There is no gene flow, yes. You can, must talk about natural selection and it occurring independently, and you must talk, talk about uh, due to the environmental conditions. So you must talk about the genetically uh, different, resulting in phenotypically different organisms. And then you must talk about when you leave you remove the, the barrier and leave them mix, then you won't be able to interpret to produce a fertile offspring. Then you tell us how many have become new species. Then you'll be able to get the mark. <clears throat> Describe how these two species uh, of the flies were formed. So now it means that now they have brought uh, an example of flies. How did they form? If you look at these flies as if they're in the lab, yes, they are being separated by the what? box. At first, it was one population, as we, to we told you, it was one population. Now the population is separated by the box. Yes, the geographical barrier now, the, the, the barrier here is now the box. This one, there is no now gene flow. You see that they are still the same kind of uh, species. So there is no gene flow between them. They, these ones cannot come here and then interbreed with this. And then, because of there is no gene flow and they are being separated differently, then they have different environmental conditions. In this case, what is the different environmental condition? It's the kind of food which is present. Here we have starch food, and then here we have maltose. So it means that they have different um, environmental conditions. So those which cannot feed on starch, they will do what? They will die. And those which can feed on starch, they will survive. While here, those which cannot feed on maltose will die, while those ones which can feed on maltose, they will survive. Yes. So over many generations, over many generations, yes, it means that uh, due to no gene flow between the two uh, uh, populations, yes, then this will result in a different, different uh, genotype this will lead to these species becoming genetically different and phenotypically different due to the different environmental conditions as a result of natural selection occurring independently. So the different genotype resulted in different what? phenotype. And if you remove the barrier and you leave them met, you leave them met, they cannot interpret to produce a fertile offspring. So it means that now this and this, they have become new species. So that's how you can uh, explain, depending on the, uh, the, the question they have given you, you have to be keen. You have to look at which barrier, which kind of environmental condition, which kind of species have been given. So, and then how many have become new species. If you look at them, yes, you'll find out that uh, there are different species. If you look at this, is di different from this, and this is different from this. Then it means that the two have become different uh, different uh, species. There was one population of flies. The population of fly species became separated by the wall of the box into population A and B. Yes, we saw it. And then there's because there is no gene flow between the two uh, populations separated. Yes, what happened? Natural selection occurs independently in each A and B due to exposure to different environmental conditions. In this case, that is the food source the food source. The food was different. So because the food source was different, uh, this one fed on, on, on maltose and then the other one fed on what? On, on, on starch. So that the, the environmental conditions were different. Hence, this will result in the population becoming very different from uh, others. That is genotypically and then phenotypically. You have to start with the genotypically and then talk about phenotypically because it's a genotype which determines, because it is the genotype which determines the phenotype. And then you're saying that when the population were allowed to meet again, they were not able to interbreed. So when you leave, you remove the box and then make them mix, they are not able to interbreed to produce a fertile offspring. Don't forget this. And then you're saying that um, the population A and B are now new species. So they have become new species. Yes. So uh, P means a point or a mark. It could be. Yeah. So it should not confuse you. So basically, uh, that's it. And then you're saying that. Um,
Another question is this, uh, you can also uh, apply it in this case, say geographical barrier, they have not talked about it, you see that it was one population, one population uh, divided, you see now it starts to change, then finally changes and then it forms different, two new species. So it's almost the same as the previous one, but now it is in a different angle, yes. Um, try to download these slides and then you can try to practice such questions, yes. So what are some of the mechanisms of uh, reproductive isolation? When you talk about reproductive, it means that sex, sex is not being, is, is not happening. Yes, it, it has been isolated. Organisms have been isolated from sex. That is a reproductive. They are not re reproducing. It results in them not reproducing. So that isolation, what are some of the mechanisms? What are some of the things which result in these organisms not what? Uh, reproducing. Keeping species are separate. So number one, breeding at different times of the year. Yes. So this one uh, breeds in uh, in fall, and then this one breeds in late uh, of the winter. So it, it means that they cannot have any time when they are breeding at the same time. So they are being separated by the different uh, times of the year. Number two is species species um species specific courtship behavior like you, the way how you you do your courtship is different from the how dogs do the courtship is different from how the birds are doing their courtship so it is different we have different kinds different ways in which we do our courtship we seek for sex differently we have different ways so that one can also the way how you do it and the way monkeys do it it must be irritating you and yet the monkeys are enjoying the same story to humans. So if it happens the way how we have, we do um, courtship, then automatically it means that it could lead to um, isolation, adaptation to different parenting agents uh, or parameters. You see that here, this is an insect, this is a, also insect, but it is a butterfly. This is um, another insect, kind of different insect. You have different insects, this is a bird, this is a bat, this is a human. So they have different pollinating agents or pollinators. So because of that, they are not, if this cannot um, come, then it means that you will not cut out uh, pollination or it will not uh, reproduce. So because of that, they are being isolated or they are being uh, separated. Then you have, um, yes, you can have sex, you can have what, you can produce a baby, but you end up producing an infertile offspring. For example, a horse, which is uh, um, 64, so when it is one and when my sister takes place, it is 32, and then a, a donkey, which is 62, 31, when it divides, then they produce 32 plus 31 produces what? Produces 63. So when it, it is going to cut out meiosis, what is going to give? It's not, it, it is not applicable. Then it means that this one will be, uh, it won't be able to reproduce. So it is infertile. They have crossed, they have produced a baby, but the baby is not fertile. Yes. So it cannot reproduce again over and over and over again. So it becomes still, we, they are being separated. And then lastly, uh, prevention of fertilization. Uh, so you hear that a person produced a dog. Does it mean that that person is slept with a dog? No, it doesn't mean like that. It could be mutation. But now, is it that if you produce a snake, produce a dog, or produce whatsoever, is it, it's not that you, you, you slept with a dog. It's because we have different kind of sperms and ova. Yes, so fertilization will not take place. You see the egg of a human and the egg of the bird, eh, the chicken, they are totally different. Yes, humans are big, but their eggs are small. Well, beds are small, but their eggs are big. So there's no way how you can uh, reproduce. Uh, these are some of other examples of, of speciation. How did they form these beaks? Here is another example which tries to, how did these two species came about? The question can come, how did they come about? All these are other examples of speciation. So you can read about them, or just have one, the way I've explained it, then you'll be able to apply others.